Hi, I'm Robbinsville Mayor Dave Freed. I wanted to take a few moments and talk about the Myrie Run property and the proposal for a banquet hall currently before the Township Zoning Board. The first thing that needs to be said is nothing has been decided. This application has not been approved and the next discussion on the matter will not be heard again until May 16th. Some residents believe just because they voted for an open space referendum in November that somehow the Myrie Run in Washington Woods automatically became part of our open space inventory on election day. That's not what happened. The question on November ballot was not specific to any one property, but rather to the preservation of open space as a whole. We still have to follow the process, and the process is to negotiate in good faith with the landowner and hopefully come to terms that we can all agree with. If we cannot, it may mean moving forward with condemnation, as we did with Washington Woods. Condemnation is not something that I take lightly. It's a costly tool that should always be used as a last resort, and there are never any guarantees. Myrie Run has been in the same family for generations, and we owe the property owner the respect of a fair and open process before considering condemnation. Our intent from the very beginning was to prevent residential development on that property. That has always been our top priority. The proposed banquet hall is just 20 acres. 160 acres of the current open space on that property will remain open space. Those 20 acres have had buildings on it for as long as I can remember. I have not seen this proposal and I do not know whether it is going to be approved. It may work. It may not work. What I am saying is the property owner has every right to see if this proposal meets the criteria of our master plan. When I was elected mayor, I was not granted any special powers. I have no magic wand. I am not permitted by law to do certain things that would potentially sway our boards. What I can do is hire really good people and try and put highly intelligent, talented people on our boards. In this case, the zoning board is made up of residents just like you. They want what's best for Robbinsville. They are not connected, they are not political, and they do not always agree, and often the votes are not unanimous. What we have to do is allow them to do their job. We cannot and will not put our thumb on the scales. Being fair is always what we need to think about. Personally, I'm not opposed to this property being turned back into a golf course or listening to different ideas of what we can do with the buildings that are there. But once again, our intent for the other 160 acres is walking paths and open space. If approved, this facility would generate approximately $200,000 a year in tax revenue, including $100,000 a year for the school district. If we have to resort to condemnation, the judge will look to see if Robbinsville Township acted in good faith. Not just whether I acted in good faith, but also the boards, council, residents as well. If we do not follow the process and do not act in good faith, the judge very well may deny it. There is literature being circulated throughout the town, and some of those flyers are just simply not accurate. Nothing is going to happen to our library or our senior center, and since the property is about 100 yards from Route 130, that is where 99% of the traffic is going to go. The traffic study has not even been heard by the zoning board yet. The board has to listen to all the evidence so the township can stand before a judge and say it acted fairly. It has been disheartening to learn that some residents in our town are using threats, intimidation, and bigotry to express their opposition to this application. There is no religious affiliation attached to this application whatsoever. And I am here to say that this rhetoric will not be tolerated. That is not who we are. I understand some people feel by resorting to those measures they are protecting their properties. What we cannot do is mistreat others without considering that their lives and property also are being impacted. This property owner has just as many rights as those adjoining his property. It is okay to engage in dialogue and debate, but it is never okay to make threats against anyone. Once all the facts are in, the zoning board will decide if this application makes sense or not. So let's give them the opportunity to do their job and to do it fairly. I look forward to discussing this again at our 2017 State of the Township Address, May 9th at the Hilton Garden, where we will pay it forward to Sharon School Teacher Deb Dower 
and in her fight with ALS. Thank you.